Bike maintenance wouldn't be my strongest subject, so I enlisted the help of Daryl Young, who is my mechanic at Synetic BMW. He was also Taz's mechanic when he won the 2016 British Supersport Championship, and he also used to work with my dad at the Two Hills Only magazine. So he's a top bloke, really switched on, knows what he's talking about. So without further ado, here is episode five. Hello, sir. Mate, how are you doing? Not bad, how are you? Oh, not too bad, not too bad. The first thing I wanted to ask you was, if you were doing anything in lockdown now to maintain your bike, if you were either a track day rider or a road rider, what would you be doing? Well, yeah, it's uh, interesting you say that really, because I mean, some people would have, um, last ride they would have had would have been like last September or October, but some, you know, wouldn't have even been out before um, the lockdown started, so... Uh, in some cases, some people's bikes have probably been sitting there for like seven, eight, nine months or whatever, you know, without being ridden. So I guess, you know, let's start the winter, what you do to the bike during the winter applies to lockdown as well, really, you know. Um, the advice really is always, firstly, get the bike off, off its wheels. It's, you know, try not to leave it parked on the side stand. Try and leave it on the centre stand all the time. Or if you haven't got centre stand, then up on the paddock stands all the time so that the wheels are free. Um, and keep the tyre pressures as they should be, or somewhere in the in the region, so that you don't get any flat spots and that kind of stuff. You know, particularly as I say, if you leave it on a side stand. Um, so yeah, those are really important things. And then, really, I want to try and give people cheap things they can do to their bike whilst they're at home. What what would be the first thing you'd be trying to do to maintain your bike? Yeah, well, the thing the things that are going to fail, the things that are going to get that are going to seize up, start sticking through lack of use um, batteries another one that's that's going to fail and so on and so forth so uh, the easy things to do uh, to maintain it while it's standing there doing absolutely nothing is to say get the bike up off the wheels for start off that enables you to spin the wheels every now and again apply the brakes release the brakes apply the brakes again so that the calipers and the pistons are moving a little bit and you're getting things moving um, say it turns the wheels over keeps all the bearings moving and that kind of stuff rear wheel keeps the chain moving otherwise you know if the chain sits for seven eight nine months uh, it, it'll you know they'll they'll end up with kinks and so on and so forth in it as it's been wrapped around the sprockets so they they continually or not continue not every day but you know weekly kind of routine just spin the wheels up just get the chain moving all that kind of stuff get you know find the brakes um battery that that will go flat obviously most bikes have got an alarm on it or an immobiliser or a tracker or whatever so um yes maintaining the battery either get it into a battery charger so it's trickle charging all of the time or run the bike up whenever you can obviously you don't want to be annoying the neighbours and running it up you know, <laughs> an hour every day or anything like that um but certainly you know just try and keep some power going into the battery um as well that that'll, de- that'll definitely help and keep lots of fuel in it Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so I mean, a lot of tanks won't rust these days. They're well treated and so on and so forth. But the, if you only have a small amount of fuel in there, uh, that can go off. It can go stale, um, and obviously everything gets gummed up and so on. The more fuel you've got in there, the less chance of it going stale. Um, and also, you know, stops the inside of the tank rusting and everything else. So you know, always always keep a, keep the fuel levels pretty high. Right. Well, I didn't know that. Very there interesting. You go, you see? I'm you learning myself. Every day. <laughs> and that applies to all the rest of the fluids as well. Keep the flu, keep all of the fluids topped up to, to the maximum, you know, okay. um, to where they should be. So it's also so it's kind of ready to go. You know, you haven't got to, as soon as the sun starts shining and we're out of lockdown, you don't want to be right. I've got to go through a whole list of stuff, you know, to do. You just want to be able to check the tire pressures and, and get out on the road. Really, yeah. Don't. In terms of. Uh, Sitting on the bike, pulling the clutch in, pressing the brakes. I've been doing that regularly in my garage because I've got nothing else to do. So <laughs> our bikes are well maintained. <laughs> yeah. um, so then when it comes back, hopefully it, we're not going to be in lockdown forever and we will get to ride our bikes again. If your bike's been sat for a while, what would you check if you were going to check anything? Yeah, well, that, all of those things again that we've just gone over, you know, those, those are the kind of those are the main things really um, to, to be looking out for. I mean, nothing would have come loose, um, you know, as it's been sitting in the garage for six months, seven months, or whatever, you know. But things will seize up, things will go tight, particularly if it's a damp garage or whatever, you know. Even things like, uh, you know, 
foot rests on springs and you know side stands and that kind of stuff they all have a tendency to stick and so on and stuff and like you say you make sure your levers are all, all free and, and, and what have you tire pressure is the most important thing really that's the thing that people forget about just jump on the by 10 psi in front of the rear and then off down the road and that's not good no. <laughs> that's really not good. um so you know um and also a check a check for mit as well that's because obviously um you know, you haven't been able to get bikes MIT since what, twenty third of March was it? Yeah. We went into lockdown. Um, and I think if I understand it correctly, if your bike was if your bike was due for an MIT from the thirty first or the first of April onwards, you get an extra six months grace. But if you if your bike ran out of MIT before then, then you'll need to get it MOT, obviously. Um, so your first journey would have to be after you've booked it in at an MOT station. Um, so that they've recorded the registration number, and then you've got to go straight to the MIT station to get it MIT, because uh, there is no, you, they they won't let you off if your bike was due for an MIT before the end of March, right. as I understand it. Okay, well, that's very useful as well. There is another thing um, that you ought to have a look for, and that's fork seals. Right. Just make sure the fork seals aren't aren't weeping or leaking, and just, you know just rub a finger down the fork tubes and what have you, because um, particularly if they've been standing. Um, on the side stand or front wheel's been on the ground you've only put it up on a rear paddock stand there's a lot of weight on the front and the, the seals can you know because they're getting hot they're getting cold and what have you um, can, can start to leak oil and that obviously is an MOT failure but also something that people do miss quite often and uh, you don't want fork oil over your brake calipers yeah. uh, on your best ride out after lockdown so yeah that's that's just something else that needs to be looked out for and if they are leaking what would you do? just go straight well to- Unless you can do it yourself, which is highly unlikely that you'll have all the tools at home to do it, then it's it's either, you know, get the bike down to a dealer uh, or it's a suspension or somebody like us, um, or get somebody to come and collect it, or if you can drop the fork legs out and take them somewhere, but they will need new seals. There's no easy fix, there's no quick fix for them. They need to be stripped, new seals, new or fresh oil, um, and sorted. And, you know, um, that's another thing. Well, you've got, you know, the bike is, is keep the suspension moving as well, you know, so it's not just sitting there all the time yeah. uh, on, on its stands or whatever. It's, like when I was saying, you know, move the wheels, apply the brakes and that kind of stuff. Also, you know, just give the suspension a bit of a bounce and, you know, make sure that everything's free and everything's moving as well. And would you do? Would you be changing oil in the engine, or would you just leave that sat there? Is that all right? Well, that should really come into your normal kind of maintenance schedule. You know, um, every bike should really have an annual service, an oil and fuel change. Uh, a lot of people do it at the end of the year, you know, before they put it away, so it goes away with nice fresh oil, fresh filter and stuff. Some people do it before they get it out for, for the beginning of the year. Oil these days, obviously, last a long time you know it's, it's much better than it, it used to be back in the day um so you you know it's not essential but it's good practice to do an oil and filter change every year uh even if the bike's not due for a service um so yeah yeah you know if it hasn't had one if you don't think it's had an oil change for a while then it's, it's well worth doing it other than that as soon as we're out of this enjoy it go and enjoy bikes all right that's wicked though thanks very much that's right. good to see you yeah cheers speak to you cheers bye bye i hope that's given you a few things that you can be getting on with whilst you're in lockdown if you are running out of things to do if you've got any other questions about bike maintenance or things you'd like to know put it in the comments below and i can message daryl and he'll get back to you because he's a top top bloke when it comes to stuff like that i think i'll actually spend a bit more time at daryl's later in the year restoring a bike and he's going to help me do it so that'll be quite interesting as well and I'll be back next Sunday with another Trakanori episode. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see that and you don't miss out on it. Bye for now.